in iOS 13, Apple has introduced a new version of its CarPlay system. We're inside the new Kia Picanto. This is the cheapest car to come with Apple CarPlay as standard. Now previously, CarPlay only had an app drawer to allow you to switch between the apps. But over here, you've got a proper home screen. On the left, you've got maps, then you've got series suggestions, your music that's currently playing, and a new calendar app. It should be pointed out that this left space over here is only reserved for Apple Maps. Now, there is a new map software coming for Apple Maps, but that's only rolling out globally in 2020. Even then, who here uses Apple Maps instead of Google Maps always? Yep, neither do I. The biggest new feature is the new calendar app, which allows you to see what's going on in your day. From there, you can simply select your next appointment and navigate to the destination straight from the app. Although again, this is only limited to Apple Maps. Siri is still Siri, but for the first time, you can say, hey Siri, and it will automatically come on. You can also activate Siri by holding this button here. And you can also use Siri for third-party apps such as Google Maps or Waze, but that's not in Malaysia just yet. Sorry, I can't give directions in Malaysia in the car just yet. The Apple Music interface has also been revamped with a greater use of album art. However, let's be honest, you'd still be using Spotify. Both Apple Music and Spotify get a new now playing interface with the album cover art now more clearly seen, which I think is a good thing. Another new feature is the setting screen where you can customize your interface to switch to the new light mode in daytime. But it's just a little bit too bright and distracting for my liking and to be honest, it's just ugly. A more welcome change is that using your phone itself isn't going to kick you out of the app you're currently using in CarPlay. So let's say you're navigating using Waze and your passenger wants to change the music through Spotify. Now you can do that, no problem. You can also customize your app drawer through your phone itself. So if you want to move Waze right up to the top, now you can. So there you have it, the new Apple CarPlay interface. Do you like the new look or would you prefer the old system? Let us know in the comments section.